The biggest challenge you face as a startup is clearly the funding side of things. One side is funding and the other is keeping your employees motivated and believing in the vision that you have, as well as your partners. So it really is a tough thing that you have on your hands. It's like not only do you have to manage the business, but you got to keep your partners also interested in it. Like I had a partner who was uh, initially very excited about our business. But then he kind of slowly, when the returns were not coming in, he started losing interest in it. And then he kind of like lost the vision and the dream that we could actually expand the business and carry it out to different uh, sectors. Uh, the way to overcome it really is that uh, as far as your partners are concerned, one is at the initial stages itself, you need to be able to foresee some of the challenges you'll be facing. And there is 101 reasons why you should not really be starting up a company. But so if, despite all of those reasons, have a lot of discussions with people, understand what you're getting into. And despite all that, if you still choose to start the company, then you really have a very good chance of succeeding in this. And also the people that are there, you also need to plan your finances with, say, like a five-year timeline in mind. That there is no income coming in, there is no funding coming in, so now how is your business going to run for the next two, three, four, five years? If you can still see it running, then you really should be starting things off. Secondly, you need to have a lot of discussions with VCs and other investors even before you get into the business. you got to look at it as a science. You forget about maybe the emotional side of starting your own business and you look at it purely as a financial decision and therefore so the investors that you're going to be hitting with, you need to get their feedback even before you get into the business too deep or you put in even your own money into it. Thirdly, you need to look at the business from the perspective of uh, what are the key things that you bring to it which are going to help you be successful in it. Like say in our case, like we had this space, which is a great location for retail uh, operation. And we had just about enough funds to help us set it up as well as like operate it for a year. Plus we had the expertise of a doctor with like maybe 12, 13 years experience. So that kind of helped us also considerably. So there, you, what you have is you have, I had a key member to guide me through the through the business, who was a dentist with uh, considerable experience. I had space of my own, and I had enough of funds to invest and set up and sustain the business for about 18 months. So these are three key things which helped us.